Hello, welcome to this lesson. This is number 66. In our previous lesson, we were looking at adaptations of the heart to its function. Today, we're going to look at the blood clotting process. Under normal circumstances, we understand that the blood is not supposed to clot while still within the circulation. But when the blood vessel has been injured or damaged, then the blood clotting process is supposed to take place so as to prevent more blood from oozing out of the body. And as a result, that will prevent some diseases such as anemia. It may also prevent an individual from losing life because blood is a very important tissue in the body of any other organism. I would like us to dive into this and try to understand what happens when the blood vessel has been injured until we have the blood clotting to prevent further loss of blood. Okay, when the blood vessel has been injured, then the platelets, which are some kind of uh, cells found in the blood, are exposed to the air. This causes them to release an enzyme called thrombokinase enzyme, or you can call it thromboplastin. When thromboplastin has been produced, then it causes, uh, it causes the, it neutralizes an anti-clotting factor which is naturally existing in blood. This anti-clotting factor is called heparin. And once heparin has been neutralized, then there is a certain protein called prothrombin which is activated and it is converted into thrombin. I'd like us to look at this entire process and there is a slide that I've just prepared here. Let us look at it and try to understand what is happening in this process. Okay, there we go. The blood clotting process. The blood clotting process starts when a blood vessel, that is the artery, vein, venule, capillary or arterial has been damaged. This causes the platelets, those are the types of cells found in the blood. This causes the, uh, uh, the platelets to be exposed into the air, causing them to rupture and produce uh, an, a protein called thromboplastin. Thromboplastin is also called thrombokinase enzyme. Thromboplastin dissolves an anticlotting factor called heparin and it also activates prothrombin, uh, prothrombin into thrombin. thrombin. Once the thrombin has been activated, then it joins the chain and it proceeds on to the next part. But what you need to understand is that Formation of this protein called thrombin depends entirely on presence of vitamin K. Vitamin K plays a very important role in its formation. Let's go on. Thrombin activates fibrinogen, which is in its, in, in its soluble form, into fibrin. Once fibrin has been formed, it forms a soft meshwork on the wound and that soft meshwork will end up trapping some red blood cells, hence forming a clot on the surface of the wound. That clot will prevent blood from oozing out of the body and with time that clot will dry up to form a scab and this prevent even the disease causing microorganisms 
from invading that tissue. That's the end of the blood clotting process. Thank you. Let's meet in our next lesson whereby I will be explaining the causes of a condition called hemolytic disease of the newborn or erythroblastosis fetalis. Thank you.